Hi everyone, I'm Robert and this is the Mercedes-Benz EQE SUV and today I will be reviewing it. So let's get started. The price of this Mercedes is 98,000 euros starting and it can go all the way up to lots of money if you want all the options in this car. So now let's move on to the design of this car which is crucial because this is to be a modern futuristic SUV so let's find that if it does that with the design in the front so in the front you have a big Mercedes badge over here it's the size of a dinner plate you've got lots of Mercedes arrows over here 3 pointed size little ones then you've got a big light running over here this is this can be illuminated at night and yeah that's that looks cool here's a picture of that now that's cool, yeah? Okay, let's move on. Then you got LED lights over here, and these are cool. You got the blinkers over here. That's cool. And moving downwards, you got a few creases and shapes over here. And this car has the uh, AMG line body kit, so it looks a bit more spot here. Uh, so you got these black trims and some vents over here, which are fake. But you got some on the side, which are real. You got some silver metallic trim over here some black trim over here, some more silver trim on the lower bumper and yeah this all looks good and let's move up uh, to the hood of this car so you got a smaller Mercedes-Benz badge over here and a few creases on the bonnet so that's the outside of this Mercedes-Benz EQE SUV it looks good it just looks like a smaller version of its bigger brother which is the EQS SUV if you want to watch that video of mine, click on the pop-up button over there. Now, let's go to the side. So, this is a big car from the side and it's tall, it's long. Let's start with the main key points. So, you got wheels over here. These are aerodynamic wheels. They look nice, but AMG written on them and they're 20 inches in diameter. So these can give you extra miles of range as these are aerodynamic and yeah, that's good because this is an electric car. You also got AMG written over there and the Mercedes-Benz badge over here. Good. You got black wheel arches and you got a few creases over here. And as you're coming down to the side, you got EQE written over here. You got the door mirrors over here and these come open and close when you unlock and lock the car. They're black and you also got blinkers on them. Then you got your window surrounds, these are in black and they look nice. You also got your door handles over here, these are poppy outy door handles. So when they lock they're like that. And they have keyless entry and yeah, it comes out when you unlock it. I also got some silver trim over here to lighten things up. You got not a lot of creases on the side, it's just nice looking. You got one crease down over here, that's good. You've also got black boots over here and some more chrome over here. That's good. As you're coming to the back, it starts to creep down and you got like your crease over here and it comes down. It's got wide haunches. Looks nice. you got your charging place over here. There we go. And you've also got AC and DC charging. That is good, which I'll tell you later about that. And yeah from the side it looks good nice and yeah good looking like most mercedes there's not a lot going on the side in the back uh, you got the full extended tail light this looks nice with a big mercedes badge in the center and eqe 300 written over here this is good you also got some black bits over here these are nice as black makes things look spotty now moving down over here you got sort of fake exhaust pipes they're trying to mimic them over there but it's not there then you got chrome over here that's nice and some stuff underneath over here which looks like diffuser but it's not the underfloor of this car is mostly covered so the range is better and it's more aerodynamic so what's my final verdict on the design of the EQE SUV it looks nice it's sophisticated and modern and it's luxurious like a Mercedes should be now let's check out the boot. You can open it from here or using the key. You have to unlock the car to use it. 
Okay, there it goes. It's automatically operated as this is a big tailgate. And you got 520 liters of boot space in here. Uh, there is no load lip, so you can load things easily. Got tie down hooks and lights in there. And you can also fold down the seat from here. You just need to bend down and just push it down. And the same on the other side. Then you have a lot more storage. So that's the boot of the EQE SUV. Now I want to show you something which I forgot to show you in the exterior design. Which is this. You might think this is not the underside, this is only on one side. So you open this and this is where you pour your windscreen fluid so you can wash it. That's a nice feature instead of having to put it underneath the hood. So now let's check out the back seats of the EQV SUV. So this is the back of the EQV SUV. Uh, it has lots of space, much more than the EQV sedan, which if you want to watch the video, click on the pop-up button right now if you want like a less big car okay anyway the space back over here is pretty good so you got decent under tie support which is very important as most electric cars the batteries are in the floor and that means you will be sitting like in an upright position which means you won't be getting enough comfort that can be annoying but in this car it's very good and then you can stretch out your leg underneath the driver's seat, in underneath the passenger seat, or the driver's seat, if you're sitting that side. And yeah, it's comfortable, and the black rest is also in a pretty good position, so you don't sit too upright, which can be not com which can not be comfortable when you're doing long journeys in the car. You also got lots of headroom in the car, which is very good, as tall people would not get an issue in the car. You can also get a panoramic sunroof in this car which won't eat into headspace as there's lots of it. So, now the middle seat of this car, let's check that out. You can carry three people in this car because the, the floor is very flat and that's a very good thing. And yeah, this is because there is, there is no need of a transmission tunnel to pass the power to the back wheels, like in a petrol car. So you can sit here comfortably. The seat is a bit more hard than in the altitude seats, but it's doable. You can do a few more with them. So, this is the armrest in the EQV SUV. There is no dampening and it just falls down. Where is the luxury? You're paying 98,000 euros. This must be soft and dampened and should not be falling like that. That's not good. Uh, everything else is good in this car, let's say. That's for now. You got reading lights over here. That's nice. You also got some black bits over here, metal door handles, and some silver trim over here, metal window switches, suede on the top of that with stitching over here, and this is soft leather. You got a big door bin where you can keep lots of stuff. That's also very nice. You got airplane style pockets over here, which is very nice. You got your air vents over here. That's good. You also got some more storage underneath over here with two USB C's so you can charge your devices and it's modern. So you also got isofix points in the back of this car which you can open and put your seat in. That's good. So that's the back of the ETV SUV. Now let's check out the front seats. Now take a look at this fantastic in front of this EQV SUV. You got lots of very little Mercedes stars. You got turbine stuff, air vents, a big screen over here. You got some more stars. You got bronze trim, nice materials, and a big screen over here for your digital driver's display. Piano black trim, black leather. Everything looks good. And the looks is good, but now I'll tell you the quality, which is not what you expect from a Mercedes. So over here, it's soft touch materials, your stitching, bronze stitching, but look at it, it's a bit cheap. The air vents over here are a little bit flimsy and not very thick or hard, and the stocks for the indicators and stuff are pretty cheap, uh, but they are dampened, so that's a good thing. Then over here, 
you got like soft touch materials but over here and stuff it's just cheap plastic look at that Ugh. very bad now let's get back onto the good things yet again so which is this big screen so this is Mercedes is MBUX2 and it's a very good system and it's got a lot of stuff on it I'll talk you through that so you got Mercedes EQ so this is a special mode only for the electric Mercedes so you can see your remaining range and how much distance you can go and if you want you can also optimize the battery temperature so the battery is warmed up so you can get the charging quickly which can be very good and you could like and you can also it gives you ideas to improve your range so you can drive better use the seat comfort less use the climate control in a good temperature setting and restrict like the features inside the car you also got consumption to see that and yeah that's all the features are there then you got apps settings where you can program lots of the stuff in this car such as assistance vehicle uh, lights system and info then you got comfort where you can like you can have seat connectors heating you can also get the heat seats on this car and you also got you can also set this to your exact height so I am 180 so okay there you go now the car is like positioning me to sit in the ideal exact position for me so it's moving the seats and the steering wheel to get a good view out and I'm close so now that's what they're saying and it's pretty good it's like the need I can I can see everything very clearly and yeah it's good there's a slight problem with this car and that is the dash is very high so that means you do and the hood just flops down so it's going to be very hard to see where the end of the car is that's a slight complaint otherwise that's good you also got different colors of ambient lighting and all you got radio media etc and telephone you also got a big map and it's very high def and you can also have 3d and down over here is this section is your climate control so you got dual some climate control in this car and that's good you can also change the fan speed and all you also have recirculation and yeah you can see you can open the boot from the screen so yeah you can change the stuff and all and play about when you have the car down over here in this section is it's a it moves a little bit not the best quality uh, you got dynamic range buttons so your eco comfort sport and individual parking cameras this car can also park itself then you got EQ mode, shotgun buttons, settings. You also got car wash mode, so which you activate. The sunroof come in, the mirrors fold in, the automatic windscreen wipers turn off and all. Then you got your hazards over here and fingerprint buttons so you can save your stuff. You can turn off the screen or the display and then you can look your volume controls. You get a start stop over here and it's a very big start stop. And now moving over here you go to this tool driver's display which is also very good quality so, and you can also cycle through many different views so you got understated sport and classic you can also have navigation assistance and service and let's go today with understated that looks nice you got a big speedo your range the type of recuperation is also there when you go into comfort mode this shows you what type of this so you can have normal where the car is like just rolls about and all then you got off where the car just like does not like the battery is just not working backwards or go full which is which means you'll be going pretty slowly that's good so this is the steering wheel it's pretty nice and good to hold you got two sensitive buttons these are not something I favor because you can swipe and you can also click them that can be a little bit annoying you got silver trims over here that's silver you got center busting which is in soft material good and you also got a big mercedes benz badge over here so that's all i need to show you about the steering wheel now let's move down to the center console where when you open it you got you can see that so you got area to place your key this is the area to place the key so the car recognizes there's a key then you got your your wireless charging port two usb c's and you got your cup holders over here so the cup holders on this car is pretty cool so when you place your drink it comes and hugs it that's very nice 
that's good. Then over here you got your central armrest. This button is a little bit cheap. Let's open it. There's a lot of storage underneath there. That's very good. It's got lots of storage. That's more than some cars have in the glove boxes. Very good. Uh, moving over here, this is like a kind of an art piece. So you got so you got some nice materials, ambient lighting. You got some sort of button if you have it. You could open it from there. Your some buttons and all. That's good. Now let's take out the glove box in this car. So the glove box is over here, and you just press a button and it opens. And it's pretty big size. And yeah, good. I like it. So one thing this car has GLE or GLS or GLA, yeah, petrol washings do not have, which is this. It's down over here, which you can see now. So you got some storage over here, which you can use to store your items and stuff. And it's really big, so you can keep like a bag or something. So the seats is now what we're talking about the next. As I told you earlier, this can do it automatically, but you also got movements in the seats, so you can go really. Low if you want to, or really high, you can recline it a lot, or still very upright. You can also move the under thigh support, which is very nice and comfortable. You can also move your headrest, and you can get lots of comfortable. You also got an electronically movable steering wheel, which is very luxurious, and you got heated seats and memory seats. So these seats remind remember three positions. So if I save, that's one. Then if I hit, if I like move my seat into a different position, so I'm moving it now, and I hit the button that stores the information, it moves my seat to the position I want it to, so that's good. So that's all I have to show you about the interior in this GLE, sorry, not the GLE, this is the EQE. If you want to watch my video about the GLE, click on the pop-up button right over there. And now let's check out the battery and motors in the EQE SUV. Batteries and motors in this car. There we go, bit of a struggle. So, this car has a 98 kilowatt hour battery pack and it does a range of 730 kilometers and has a motor in the rear wheel, has 243 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. So, that's all you need to know about the battery and motor in this car. You can also get different versions and also an AMG one. So, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and the Mercedes-Benz EQE SUE is very nice and comfortable to drive, but would I prefer the GLE or the EQE sedan? Yes, I would. And that's just because the EQE looks more sharper and more sportier, and the GLE, it just looks tremendous. I, I'm the one of the biggest fans of the GLE, so yeah. It's still good, it's still good. It's very good for an electric car. Most electric cars does not look good as this, it looks good. I like it. So, that's it. See ya. Bye-bye.